true or false. If you fill a video's title, description, or tags with terms or names, such as the names of celebrities, that are unrelated to the video, that could result in the video being removed. The answer is true. Spam, scams, and other deceptive practices that take advantage of the YouTube community aren't allowed on YouTube. Let's take a look at a few examples. A creator uploads a video with a thumbnail showing celebrities from a popular late night TV show. The video does not contain the late night clip and instead is a screen directing viewers to another website. In another video, a comedian uploads their latest comedy routine. At the end of the video, the creator encourages fans to check out their comedy website, which is linked in the description. Do either of these videos violate our community guidelines? Yes, the first video violates our spam policy. Be sure to only share links when they're relevant to the video, add value to viewers, and don't trick people into visiting other websites. But what about posting the same comment multiple times? Would that be okay? To learn that and more, go to the YouTube Help Center article on spam, scams, and deceptive practices. Click here or the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. This lesson is going to be entitled YouTube versus Hebrew Israelites Unfair and Discriminative Practices unfair and discriminative practices and youtube is practicing uh, discriminative practices okay unfair you know they, uh it's been a rash of uh brothers a rash of videos being taken down and uh just off the top my video a video that i did has been taken off of youtube and it was put under uh it was made private by youtube and as you can see here, and it's locked into private. All right, I did a live stream last night. As soon as I got off the live stream, they, 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 they said basically that they uh, reviewed the video, but they couldn't have reviewed the video. I had just got off live unless they watched the whole time. Anyway, there was a video entitled, Why Did God Create Evil? And I was hit with a, um, well, they didn't give me a strike as you can see it here. This is the video right here. You can see it's uh, red. It's got the red circle with the line through it. The video is basically, uh, you can't see it. And we'll read the email. And also, you had Elder Apostle Rhymelov got a strike. Uh, one of the Dallas brothers, Elder Ariala, he did a video that was, uh, all it was was a, um, an exhortation to the brotherhood. I don't know if they deleted the video or if they gave and made it private or whatever they did. Uh, they took down uh, another, a uh, couple other brothers. Brother Yuan from GMS Dallas, he took his channel down. And uh, Elder uh, Michael Oliver from Dallas, GMS Encouragement 144, they took his channel down. As well as the brother Bacquara Moth got, um, I think they did the same thing to him. And you're going to be amazed to see what they're calling it. Now let's go read the email. Because the brother Bacquara Moth, he got the same, uh, the same thing happened to him. So this is the email that I received. It says, you know, you see it at the top. Our team has reviewed your content. And we think you may need to make changes to make it to make sure it doesn't violate our spam, deceptive practices and scams policy. In the meantime, we made the following content private. Now, they say make changes, but they don't give you any information on what they think is wrong with it. Right. And the only thing we got to go on is a, is a, a video from YouTube and I'll, I'll actually play it. So here it says, um. The video is why did God create evil? And it's very simple, straight to the point. I mean, it's a live stream, so we do go into Romans 9, Esau, of course. But this is why they're doing that, because they don't want to be revealed as the Edomites. I mean, here it is. You got people on YouTube, all types of videos, twerking, dancing, shaking ass. You know, you got videos of women in the streets talking about God bless, uh, thank God for abortions. Those videos are still up. But our videos, we preaching, we teaching and preaching from the Bible. They're taking them off. Anyway, they go on and says, we haven't applied a strike to your channel. And if you make changes or if you think we've made a mistake, you can request to make your content public again. And they didn't give you a place where you can even do that. I, I went through the thing over and over. I don't see a place where I can request, you know, my channel, I mean, my video to be uh, reinstated. It says, however, there may be some instances where YouTube keeps your content private. 
what locked as private means. That's where it is, it's locked as private. Content locked as private won't appear on your channel or in search results. And it won't be visible to other users. And I've, I've searched, I went through all of this. Everything they recommended. So they basically says, uh, spam deceptive practices and scams policy. Now, the video is not spam. We don't have any deceptive, deceptive practices and it's not scamming anybody. I don't really understand. I mean, I do understand that you hurt. You devils are hurt. Before we play that video, let's go right here to read John 7 and 7. Because that's all that's going on. Esau is trying to run and hide and you can't hide and you can't run. This gospel is, is tearing you people up. It says the world cannot hate you, but me it hated. Because I testify of it that the worst thereof are evil. So this is the Savior speaking. And it ain't really us that they hate. They hate the spirit of Yahweh Shah is tearing that ass up. And that's what they hate. It says, The world cannot hate you, but me it hated. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. So Yahweh Shah said, Hey, it's the fact that he's testifying of the works of this world. Now, at the end of the day, the video is entitled YouTube versus Hebrew Israelites, right? Now, there'll be many people that, that, uh, that are not Hebrew Israelites and teachers that this will affect. But, it doesn't matter because you're not teaching the truth. We're teaching the truth of the Holy Bible.